the previous videos, we looked at how to create and edit a Google site. In this video, we will look at changing site settings to control access. When you're ready to share your site, you're going to click on Publish in the upper right-hand corner. Once you click on Publish, you're going to be asked to give your web address or a name to your site. If you're within a school district, your site will start with your school district's domain, and it will end with your choice. If the web address that you chose is available, you'll see a check mark next to it. Next, where it says who can view my site, you'll see that it's probably by default set on your domain. I can click manage next to that to make it public so anybody can view. When I click on Manage, I see Google's new sharing dialog box. At the top, I can share with specific people if I want to only let them have access. But if I want to make my site public, where it says Links and Links vary at the bottom, I'm going to click on Change. When I click on Change, I have some more settings. First, we're looking at our draft view. We can choose that while our website is in draft mode and we haven't published it yet, that it's restricted to only the people I give access to. We can make it available on our domain while it's in draft mode, but not with anyone else. Or we can let anyone see our draft mode. Below that, you'll see your publish site options, and these look the same. If I click the drop down arrow next to publish site, I can see that I can choose to make my site public so that anybody can view my site. This means that anyone on the internet can find and open my site. When I'm happy, I go ahead and click Done. It takes me back to my Publish Site dialog box, and now I can click Publish. Once I do, my site will be available for people to search for and find. If I want, I can choose to request that search engines do not display my site. That means if somebody does a basic Google search for whatever my web address name is, I don't want my site to show up. You can select that if you want. Once you've published your site, you can continue to make changes, and those changes will only show in draft mode. Once you've made some changes, and you want to publish your site again, so maybe I've added an image. Once I'm happy with my changes and I want to make it not just a draft but viewable by anyone I've shared the link with, I'm going to click Publish once again. When I do, it's going to have me review the changes. It'll give me a side-by-side -side look at the draft mode and what's currently published. You can see that in the draft mode, it shows my picture. If I want this to become public, I can now click Publish. At any time, you can get back to your sharing settings by clicking the Share with Others icon. And this takes us back to where we change our sharing settings. If we want the link that we can share with others, we simply click the Copy Publish Site Link icon. When we click on that link, we can copy this link and send it out to parents or other teachers that we want to view our site. 